Mulder Stoner Extraordinaire here, and um, I'm just here to do another episode. It's 420. Woo! And uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Big Rock Farms. Go ahead and check that out. Yeah, I just had some of their Blue Dream Hybrid. That was really good. Um, it was packaged just this October. And um, yeah, so, and you know, it's 420, so that's obviously this year's weed. Very good, very, uh, very potent. Um, yeah, it was very, it was, uh, I was ecstatic about how good the weed was. But anyway, uh, since it's 420, I figured, you know, why not tell a couple of, you know, 420 stories? So, um, the first story I'm going to tell you guys about is obviously the legend of 420. And the legend of 420 is it's actually very simple. You know, back in the 70s, you know, everybody was smoking weed. I mean, your parents were smoking weed. Your grandpa was smoking weed. His dad was smoking weed. And then his uncle grew weed and he gave it to your fucking aunt. And you know how it is. Anyway, so back when all our parents and grandparents were smoking weed and getting mad at us 20 years later for smoking weed, uh, we, uh... There was a high school in Santa Monica, Santa Monica High School, and um, it was a very smaller community than it is now. Not as many people, but very beachy, you know what I mean? A lot like how uh, probably Santa Cruz is, or you know, San Luis Obispo is these days. It's just a very beachy community. So anyway, you've got these stoners getting out of school every day at about 3 o'clock. You know, 2.30, 3 o'clock, 3.30. So they had this place they'd meet up in, in an alley. And it just so happened that they'd all end up getting there around 420 because they all get out of school at the same time. And they're all, you know, showing up to the place at the same time. So they started saying, hey, I'll see you at the spot at 420. And all of a sudden, it turns into this thing. And they start saying, yeah, 420, bro. And, you know, it's this inside joke at school, you know. And anybody who really knows what's up, who knows where this alley is. And, you know, they just... They just go. They go and they smoke weed at 420 every day. And that's the real reason why we call the day 420, 420. Um, there's a couple other cool little stories that I've heard. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure the guy's name is uh, Johnny Appleweed. And he was a farmer. And this is like back in the day, 19th century, you know, 1700s, you know, you got, you know, uh, George Washington cutting down cherry trees and shit. Anyway, uh, he goes and he finds these seeds or buys these seeds in a market, right? He takes these seeds home and he plants them and he grows them and they grow spectacularly fast, like ridiculously fast. Like in a couple of days, he's got a full plant, plant blooded, budded and everything. But he noticed that it's not anything that he's ever seen before. So he's like, okay, I'm going to get rid of this pot plant. You know, why the fuck do I need this? I'm a farmer. You know, so he, go ahead, he goes ahead and lights it on fire. And as the smoke is sitting there billowing up, he starts, you know, inhaling it. You know, and as we all know, pot smoke is fucking amazing. So uh, he inhales the pot smoke and he goes, oh my god. I got to show this to the whole town. I got to take the rest of these seeds. It goes to the whole town. And he goes out to the rest of the town. And the rest of the town uh, totally rejects what he's saying. They're like, there's no way, you know, you're a crazy fucking asshole. You know, there's no way this plant makes everything better. And so they take the seeds that they give them and they just throw them on the ground. The next day, uh, everybody wakes up, and which is 420. And they all wake up, and the seeds have magically sprouted into full-grown pot plants that have budded. And um, they go and they start smoking them. And everybody has a great fucking time, because, you know, cannabis is fucking great. So, anyway, they go, they check it out. Uh, you know, they smoke a bunch of weed. The farmer becomes, you know, a legend. And that's why we smoke weed on the day 420 now pretty fucking cool, right? So, um, last but not least, I'm going to give you guys a personal story. Uh, if, uh, you're a part of the class of 2011 in Fraser Mountain High School, 
this story's got out to you because you obviously know what me and the rest of us always, you know, went through during that high school year. Anyway, uh, we had a friend named Michael Manning who died on 420. And uh, a year afterwards, maybe it was two, I'm pretty sure it was the year afterwards though, uh, me and a couple of my friends, I can name off names, but we're not going to do that today. Me and a couple of my friends, we went up to the spot that Michael Mann died, but it was in like this forest, you know, uh, forested area. So they block it off during the winter and usually it's not open by 420. So it's kind of like, you know, fucked. So we roll up to this spot and it's locked. The gate's locked and I go up to the guys and I'll get out of the car and I'm like, I'm going to see if, you know, I can do anything. I go up to this gate. This is a forest gate. You know, it's going to be locked until, I don't know, they stop snowing. Anyway, uh, I go up to the lock and I open the lock or I go to the lock and I grab the lock. I'm holding the lock and um, I just pull on it and it fucking opens. Crazy shit. Like, you know, holy God, this guy wants us to go to the spot right now. You know what I mean? So we go up there, and uh, we smoked weed, and uh, it was a great time, you know what I mean? Just a great time. Um, anyway, uh, that's been today's episode of Most Stoniest. If uh, you guys like the material you guys see today, go ahead and subscribe down at the bottom. And uh, if you like it, like it. You know what I mean? So, uh, anyway... I'm Carrie Mulder, stoner extraordinaire, and this is Most Stoniest.